All right, Superfly Snooker. Superfly Snooker, and sit ups, leg stretches, and then we'll take a little break before our forward folds. So, we're just building upon what we've done before. We'll basically have these hooking at our ankles at the moment. Going upside down, bringing the legs wide. Well, this time when we bring the legs wide and around, we're going to reach for the leg loops, bringing them into the palms of our hands. Our feet are hooked in front. I'm going to press my feet into the swinging arch and come back. Yes, good. So I'm here like in a chaturanga at first, my feet are wide and hanging down. Pressing up into a chaturanga and back down. Just playing with the arm strength. Oh. <laughs> it's too late in the day for that kind of arm strength for me. You can also put them on the shoulders. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I like to hook my feet so the feet are hooking around the outside. Yeah, it goes. Great. Do you want to show you how to get into this guy? Okay. We can also hang at the elbow creases. And then if we bring our feet in front again, bring our hands into namaste. <laughs> this is also one of our happy Buddha poses. <laughs> and then to come back up, squeeze the arms together. Backwards. Uh, arch. Squeeze the arms. Yeah, arch. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Awesome. So when we're here, we're holding on with our hands. You can also start to kind of bank from side to side and play in the space, which is super fun. Swimming it out. Come into <laughs> elbows first and then back down to hands. Yeah. up, straightening. This would be, of course, a little bit more challenging. Using the arm strength. Whee! Really get some momentum going. <laughs> and then if we want to relax, we put them back on the shoulders with the feet. Now, if we wanted to basically pike, bring your legs straight up, we can come into Christ consciousness. <laughs> oh, it's so easy. <laughs> it's so easy. There it is. Legs upside down, starfish. And then to come out, we just tuck elbows, hands, bring the feet. Really good. Transitioning from one to the other, that's great. Meta Huh? Meta Meta what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> great. Shoulder span. Back bend. Cool. Okay. So basic sit-ups. There's a lot of different ways we can do sit-ups. Coming back to where we were. If we didn't, if we hadn't taken a break, we would have wound up here. And basically, what we can do, get this into a good spot for yourself. You can do some elbow curls, bicep curls, pull yourself up. You can also keep your legs wrapped around. Do the same thing. So getting the arm strength and the belly strength at the same time. The other portion is to work with more balance and to do some scissor kicks. These are a little bit more challenging, and then the most challenging is the balance. So one leg stays up, one leg bends back, and switching. And the next one is the row your boat, <laughs> keeping the leg loops in the arch, arch of the foot, leaning back into ladle, and then squeezing everything in. Leaning back, squeezing it all in. Which 
sit-ups you like to do. So going over them again, start with wide straddle. Get your swing to a good spot at the hips. And then just do some curls. You wrap your legs around and do the same one. Basically bringing the heart towards your feet. Nice. Scissor kicks. Pulling down the elbows, relaxing your neck. Both legs together or that. The arches of the foot are better than the ankles for this one, I found. <sighs> Your hands are just basically sliding up and down on the swing. <laughs> nice. Gently. Oh. <laughs> so, putting the swing, putting the leg loops at the ankles, Basically, just turning ourselves over, doing some leg stretches. Grab for the outer edges of the feet and come into a wide straddle. Abrita. Nice lower calves and knees. It's like every day. Bring your feet together. Supra Baddha Konasana. Feet touching. Knees open wide, and then straight legs is the last one. You can do all this with your big toes. Grab your big toes, wide straddle. Oh, that's so good. Bhagavanasana. Straight legs. So that's how we can stretch the legs and hamstrings while we're upside down in the back bend. Oh. So good. Yeah, and then of course when we're in the upside down, we can also do one leg at a time. Put it into our little spears, spears and arrows. And break. <laughs> we're only on number eight, but the other ones are, are pretty fun. We're just gonna totally change position all together. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, 